Hello everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS. Today I will show you how to calculate diesel tank size following NFPA 20 rules. Let's get started. Selecting the right diesel tank is crucial. In this video, I will cover two methods for calculating the diesel tank size as per NFPA 20. Before we dive into the methods, let's first look at the schematic of fuel tank piping from the diesel engine to the tank. Let us try to understand fuel system schematic. As you can see on your screen, this is the arrangement of fuel system from the diesel tank to the diesel engine. Basically you need to keep couple of points before you design the diesel tank capacity and also the piping network. In order to select the diesel tank size, you need to consider spare of 5% volume for sump and 5% volume for expansion. Apart from that, please make sure the fuel tank outlet shall not be lower than the fuel transfer pump height. And also you can find few other details here like the fuel return line from the engine is going back to the tank and also the fuel supply line is going to the diesel engine and finally you can see this is the maximum fuel height i will now read what nfpa states about method one for selecting diesel tank size as per nfpa 20 edition 2022 fuel supply tank shall be sized for a minimum of 12 hours of engine run time based on fuel supply rate requirements of the engine plus 5% volume for expansion and 5% volume for sump. We will try to understand about this particular point in next slide. So let's take an example to determine the tank size and tank run time using first method we first need to know the fuel consumption engine uses per hour in our case we are considering 15.7 gallons per hour based on the manufacturer data sheet for the selected engine model apart from that we do have the power in this particular example now we will calculate the tank size and tank run time by considering addition 2022 and then we will calculate the tank size and tank run time by using 2019 addition. What is the difference? I will just explain you in few minutes. So basically as per NFPA 20 addition 2022 this is the most important part so fuel supply tank or the diesel tank can be selected by using this formula fuel consumption multiply by 12 hours of engine run time multiply by 5% volume for expansion and 5% volume for sum for this we can make it as multiply by 1.1 so now we already know the fuel consumption which is 15.7 and then we will multiply with 12 hours and 1.1 so we are going to get about 207.24 gallons please ignore my handwriting so 207.249 gallons this is the first method 
to calculate the diesel tank capacity but please wait now we are going to calculate by using 2019 edition so as per 2019 edition this 12 hours needs to be changed to 8 hours so now fuel consumption we know and now we are going to multiply by 8 hours into 1.1 so fuel consumption already we know as 15.7 so 15.7 multiply by 8 into 1.1 we are going to get about i believe 138 gallons so i'll just put it here 138 gallons so which addition you need to consider it all depends upon the project specification so based on your project specification requirement you need to consider the tank selection now let us try to calculate tank runtime so basically you know the power there is a formula in order to calculate the tank runtime so tank runtime will be equal to the power consumption or in hp power divided by fuel consumption which is in gallons per hour so now you already have power 300 hp divided by 15 point seven so you are going to get about nineteen point one hours so basically the selected diesel tank can supply or can run up to nineteen point one hours however as per nfpa 2022 you can select the tank for 12 hours operation only so it all depends upon the selection of the diesel engine model and also the power rating next let's calculate the diesel tank capacity by using second method i will read out for you what nfpa 20 states about the second method as per edition 2022 when the fuel supply rate requirements of the engine are not known which means fuel consumption is not known then the fuel supply tank shall have a capacity at least equal to 1 gallon per hp plus 5% volume for expansion and 5% volume for sump i will try to consider one example in our next slide to understand about this particular concept so let us consider another example to calculate the diesel tank size so basically this particular method will be used if we don't know the fuel consumption rate or how much fuel the engine uses per hour so basically now you have the engine horsepower 300 hp based on this particular data we are going to calculate the tank size so now if you see this particular section it says one gallon shall be considered per hp so as per our example 300 hp is the engine horsepower so 300 gallons we will consider plus it says five percent should be considered for the expansion plus five percent shall be considered for the sump in other words we can mention like 300 multiply by 1.1 which will be around 330 gallons so if we don't know the fuel consumption so based on the hp we can calculate the diesel tank size this is the first point and second point which is most important this tank run time cannot be calculated in case we don't know the fuel consumption because the formula for tank run time is equal to the engine horsepower in hp divided by the 
fuel consumption rate so because we don't know the fuel consumption rate we cannot calculate the tank run time so this is the most important slide as well these are the run time formulas from nfpa 20 for diesel tanks calculated based on the engine horsepower and also the actual tank size or the chosen tank capacity so now i will explain you don't worry so basically if you consider this first formula if you know the fuel consumption rate for example in our case we consider as 15.7 and the listed power or engine horsepower as 300 hp then if you divide this 300 by 15.7 we are going to get the tank runtime which will be about 19.1 hours now in second scenario or this particular formula will be calculated if you already selected the tank capacity for example if you select the tank as 360 gallons then this particular tank will run for about 20.1 hours i will explain you so now actual tank size 360 gallons we already know multiply by 0 0.9 divided by 15.7 if we consider fuel consumption rate which comes around 20.1 hours so if we select 360 gallon tank it can run up to 20.1 hours so based on nfpa 20 our requirement is only for 12 hours so our selected tank is satisfying nfpa 20 requirements so some might ask or someone might ask can we select 300 gallon tank okay if you select 300 gallon tank it should comply to the previous slides where i explained two methods you need to follow either one method and then you need to decide whether this can be considered or not i hope now you can select the diesel tank in next video we will discuss the bund wall size for this diesel tank if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you for watching Bye.